Hello dear friends and welcome to Tony's Reviews. A while back I reviewed this safe and healthy UV wand and this is an Asino TV item and what this is supposed to do is you turn this on it emits UV light and you're supposed to wave this over items and then after 10 seconds it beeps and supposedly those items are sanitized. The germs and bacteria are killed on those items. So anyway today I'm going to be uh, today I'm going to be reviewing an item along those same lines, and this is the Sharper Image UV Zone Phone Sanitizer. And it's actually not just a phone sanitizer. It says uh, you can sanitize other items like car keys, and it looks like a billfold, and ear pods, you know, small items. And you can see there's the box right there. And a lot of us carry a cell phone all the time now, and we're touching it constantly, and it's hard to keep something like that sanitized. So I'm thinking, you know, this is one of those items, like maybe when you get to your office or at the end of the day, you'll be able to shove uh, that in there, maybe your car keys, different items, and just shut that and turn it on, and hopefully it sanitizes those items. Well, anyway, today we're gonna check this thing out, and I'm gonna do the banana test on there, and some of you may not know what that is, but uh, when you use a banana with this uh, UV light, uh, the banana will change colors if the UV light's actually doing anything to it. I don't know that it proves that it does sanitation, but at least we know that it actually is causing a change. And you can check that on other YouTube channels. Uh, if you just put in uh, banana test with UV light, you'll find thousands of videos or hundreds of videos with uh, people doing the UV test. I paid $16.99 for this at Ollie's, and I will have an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one in the comments if you want to check one of these out. Got some instructions here. Let's check them out real quick. So now I've got this thing out of the box and it comes with a nice long cord here. So this is a standard USB cord. And then here's the box itself. It says sharper image on there. And this thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I was pleasantly surprised. And look how big that is, how deep that is. Looks like you can get about any cell phone in there. So check that out right there. I read the instructions and from my understanding of reading the instructions, what it says is you'll stick your cell phone in this device right here. Actually, you'll have it plugged in first, right? And then you'll stick your item inside this box. So your cell phone, you'll stick that in there. Oh, there's also a cell phone charging port right there. It's just like a little rubber piece and you can shove a charger up through there. So you can charge your phone while this thing is sanitizing your phone. So that's pretty cool. So what it says, you'll stick your phone in here and then you'll shut the lid and then you'll push the button right here and then an indicator light will tell you when your phone is done uh, being sanitized. Well, then you'll open it up and then you'll turn your phone over, shut it, and then go through the process again because it has to do the top and the bottom. So let me get this thing plugged up. We'll take a look at it, test it out uh, sanitizing a phone and we'll also do the banana test. Let's get started. And you can see here, I've got the cord plugged in and then you just plug it in here to the side. Now that it's plugged in, let's test it out. Okay, right there's the button, and you see that it's not coming on while this uh, box is open. I think that's for a reason. I'll shut it, and it does come on once I've got it shut. So I don't think we're going to be able to see the UV light. So I'll try to open it and see if I can just kind of get a... Nope. It's got a safety mechanism right there. You can see a little button right there keeps us from being able to see the UV light. But I'm going to I'm going to do this just for the test. I'm not going to look at the light directly. I'm actually just looking out through the camera right now. So let's check it out. So there you see it. Just a quick look. Don't try that at home, folks. Okay, just for demo purposes, I just wanted to show you this is an iPhone 11 Plus Max, and I just wanted to show you that even a big cell phone will fit inside this thing. So this is just for demo. I'm actually going to be sanitizing a smaller phone, but check it out. That's a big phone. Put the phone in, shut the lid. So in six minutes, the top side of that phone is supposed to be sanitized, and this, will, this blue light will be going all the way across here. And then we take the phone out, turn it over, and then we hit the button again, and then let it go for another six minutes, and then it's supposed to be sanitized. All right, so you can check that out. But I'm not gonna make us wait for the whole six minutes, okay? Now we're gonna do the uh, banana test real quick. And we're gonna use this safe and healthy UV wand on this banana. I'm gonna leave this light on here for just a long time. So, so for probably like 10 minutes or so, I'll leave this on here just to see if there's any significant change. So I left it on there for probably about nine minutes and not really much of a change at all. It was already bruised there a little bit, so the safe and healthy light didn't make much of a change. 
All right, so I've got a good yellow banana here, still slightly green on the end there. We're going to stick it inside the box and see if there's any significant change between the color out here and the color underneath the tape here. And we're going to let this go for 12 minutes. So it'll go for six minutes and then I'll turn it over and then we'll do it for another six minutes and we'll see if there's a significant change. We'll see if we get that tan color that other people do when they do a banana test. Okay, it's almost done. All right, let's turn this baby over and let it go for another six minutes. Okay, that's a full 12 minutes on this banana. And let's check it out. Let's get the tape off of it. And is there any difference in where the tape was at? I don't see any significant difference, to be honest with you. So I'm looking at it, and I don't see any significant difference. So a lot of people have been filming these, and when they put the tape around the banana, you'll see like you know some distinct lines once they've put these through a sanitizer, through a UVC sanitizer. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of difference, and I left this in there for the full 12 minutes. So. Maybe they're leaving their stuff in the UVC light for a long period of time, longer than, you know, maybe you're supposed to. But I don't see a whole lot of difference there, and I don't think you probably can either. Oh, shucks. It did not give us that satisfying banana tan that I've seen in some other videos where they test out UV sanitizers. Ah, that kind of stinks. But... I still feel kind of confident that this thing might work because it does emit the same kind of odor that I have smelled from UV sanitizers in beauty and barber shops. I'm a licensed uh, hairstylist, so I've used these things before in, in uh, beauty and barber shops, the big ones, and this emits that same odor. So if that's any indication that it works, that could be a good indicator, maybe. Uh, so folks, I like the size of this thing. I think it's big enough for just about any cell phone, any practical cell phone. You can get an iPhone 11 Plus Max in here, and that's a pretty big phone. That's what I carry. I like the indicator light when you turn it on. The only thing I'm a little disappointed about is I wish that whenever it fully uh, sanitizes, I wish that last light would stay on for a little bit longer than it does, or at least as, at least until you open up the case, you know, and then maybe it could shut off then. But anyway, that's just a personal preference. Um, but the thing is big enough, and I, I kind of think it works, but like I said, I don't know for sure. It's low cost. Like I said, I paid around $16.99 for this at Ollie's, and there will be an Amazon link in the description of this video, and also one in the comments. I like the fact that this UV phone sanitizer does not take batteries. I like that you can just use the USB plug on there. Most of us have that capability nowadays of powering things USB, so I think that's pretty cool. I hate to change batteries and stuff. It's not rechargeable, but you know, I don't think you would expect something like this to be rechargeable. Um, it's practical. I think it's a decent size. You'd have maybe this sitting on your kitchen counter. It might be a little too big for a coffee table, you know, if you have other things there. But you know, uh, for a kitchen counter, you know, right now while you know people are really worried about uh, sanitation, this might be something you know you slap this on your kitchen counter, you know, and stick your phone in it when you get home, you know, um, or your keys or whatever. I think this Sharper Image UV Zone is a pretty neat item. It's a nice little gadget, and hopefully it works. Uh, I'll probably be sticking to like Clorox wipes or that sort of thing when I do want to sanitize my phone. And that's just because I just, you know, I have a lot of faith in, you know, bleach or whatever kind of chemicals are in, you know, Clorox, you know, uh, wipes and uh, stuff that's in like Lysol wipes. You know, those kind of products, you know, those have been around for generations. And, you know, I just feel pretty confident that those things are going to kill germs. Uh, the idea of light, you know, seems seems like a new, it's, it's an old concept, but it seems like kind of a new concept since a lot of us are, you know, conscious about killing germs and bacteria right now. Um, so maybe when people get more used to this, it'll be a little more, a little more mainstream, even though it's been around for a long time. So folks, if you enjoyed this video review today of the UV Zone by Sharper Image, please hit the thumbs up. If you know anybody that might be able to use one of these UV zones by Sharper Image, please share this video out. If you'd like to see some more of my product reviews, please hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you so much for tuning into Tony's Reviews today, and God bless you.